There you go, sir. Okay. So let me go to internet. Okay, <laughs> I started with our own uh, thing. So I'll close this. And I'll stop my video yes. so that, you know, the stream is better. So let me just do that for a second. So I'm stopping the video so that, you know, we can see, uh, the, we can focus more attention on the screen and also the buffering and streaming is better. Yep, absolutely. So this is a uh, chance. So this is uh, the various states of awakening. And uh, this is also, you know, related to the mental states and the spiritual states, which we are, we were showing in the Q map. So basically, you know, there are four states of consciousness, dream filled sleep, deep sleep and beyond deep sleep. So I would say that, you know, when you are, when you are like, uh, you know, when you are sleeping uh, and you are in deep sleep, I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying that while you are, you know, you are doing your activities in the world, there are people in the world who are in a deep sleep. In the right. sleep, they are not aware at all, like what is happening, why it is happening. They curse God, they curse everybody. They fight with each other. They don't understand the things. So this is what I call as NPC. NPC meaning non-player characters or projections, <laughs> non-state actors. So I would call them because maybe they are not meant to awake. So this is not their cycle, maybe next cycle. So that is how it is. So they are into deep sleep. So they just watch things and they see things, even if there is a great opportunity like end times and when you know chariots come and all. Still, they are like they are. Uh, they are not even aware. Then there are people who are like into the dream-filled deep sleep, and this is actually like you know uh, people who are just awakening. They are just waking up. They are knowing things, but still they are still into uh, questioning things. Then there are awake people, or what we call the modern people, or the young people today call as woke. They say I'm woke, so that woke is awake. And then right. the, uh, the fourth state of matter, uh, so for, sorry, fourth state of awakening, which is called a super consciousness, it's called Turiya state. So most of us, like, you know, you, me, all the people who are in the stream, they are all are already in the Turiya state. Because if you're aware of the state actors, non-state actors, who is behind what, what is Illuminati? And then also, you know, you're aware of the various workings of the um, things, of course, you may not know each and every mystery of the universe, but at the same time, you are really being, you know, in the fourth state, which is also called as the Turiya state. Mm. So the first state is waking state in which we are aware of our daily world, then your dreaming world, and then causal body. So this is, of course, the classical definition. But what I have given the, the definition, it's not there in any book. It is purely due to my own personal experiences okay fair enough yes so the book says you know when you're in deep 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 sleep it's more like you know you you are aware of causal body which i don't agree but nobody is aware of anything at that state so these concepts are discussed in many many series so for example west world uh, is one very famous series uh, in this, you know, there is a discussion of various concepts. So, for example, one of the concepts they talk about is bicameral mind. Uh, I think the Nolan's brother uh, directed this series and there is a concept called as maze. You can clearly see this. You see this one episode is called mm -hmm. maze. Then there is an episode called door and it is full of Christian uh, Bible and also Bible uh, allegories. Like, you know, the salvation and also like the chosen ones. So those people who want to watch this, they can watch. Yeah, there is a lot of violence in this series. But if you can ignore the violence, I don't know if you can ignore the violence. See, I can't. Yeah, so you can see bicameral mind. So this is like, you know, 
uh, a, a robot becoming self-aware. Now, similarly in the Terminator also, you know, right? The, the sentinels or the, uh, the, all the robots becoming self-aware. Yes. So why these concepts are brought into mainstream Hollywood? Oh, Hollywood? and, and uh, one more, uh, Battlestar Galactica. Yes. Uh, the, the second, the, the reboot did a great job of, of associating that. Yes. So, uh, basically, it is a philosophy, bicameral mind. So what the owner of the, not owner, I mean, the, the, the guy who actually, Anthony Hopkins, who is, I think, a British actor, if I'm not wrong. Yep. So he, He's great. he is the, uh, the guy behind Westworld. So his aim in the, in, the, in the park is to make the robots become self-aware. So for example, uh, the, the chief protagonist, even Rachel Wood, she acts as this Dolores. Now this Dolores is continuously, you know, uh, you know, she is molested and she, she plays her part because she is a robot. But his hope, Anthony Hopkins' uh, hope, is that someday she will wake up by, you know, continuous repetitions, programming, and uh, probably, you know, making herself aware. Yes. So this is one of the deepest philosophies of the of this, uh, you know, world. Is that how do you become, how do you come from the state of deep sleep to you know, con con continue, uh, you know, complete consciousness. Now, similarly, you know, in Inception, the movie Inception, so those who are, don't have patience to watch series, they can watch, simply watch Inception movie. So in Inception also, Nolan talks about the four states. Similarly, but people don't know, that is what, you know, that is where I need to come in, is that people don't know that these four states are like the Vedic uh, philosophy states. So in this movie also, Cobb, I mean, uh, DiCaprio, he goes into the uh, fourth layer of dream. So there is a, there is a physical layer, like he is in the, inside the aeroplane with other six or seven uh, people. And then they go into one dream, then the second dream, the third dream, fourth dream. So that is actually hmm. similar to these four states, which I just talked about. So very this is a very important movie, you know, for understanding this, what is projection, what is real. So, for example, uh, even in Westworld, we talk about, you know, people who are non-actors or NPCs. NPC is nothing but the projection of your own mind. So, for example, in this movie, uh, DiCaprio has a wife. Uh, her name is, uh, she's a very famous actor. Yeah, this lady, Marion Cotillard, as Malcolm. This lady, I think, won an Oscar also. In 2007 so she actually dies because she believes the dream world is real and the physical world and uh, so she uh, she she dies and uh, she's a manifestation of Dom's guilt about the real cause of mass suicide so basically she commits suicide and whenever he goes into the dream world she chases him because it is his projection so similarly mm. to advise the viewers that think in terms of projections, think that in this world, in this earth, not all the people you see are actually awake and not all the people you see are actually people. They could be a manifestation of your guilt, your anger or whatever. They are not real people in that sense because this is also a dream world. And as I said, this is not the real earth. This is a earth. This is one of the lower worlds. And this is shown in Westworld also. In Westworld, what happens is, you know, all the people, protagonists, they actually come to the Westworld, which has a dome kind of structure and it is under waters. So basically, it is within the larger complex of the earth, somewhere in mainland China, Westworld, the theme park. And it is like a safe zone where you can come and commit crimes and go. I mean, you can murder any robot and you can go. So... So mm. these people, may, you know, are trying to tell you is that you are not on the earth. You are in a part of the earth, a very small part. Maybe it is below the earth, somewhere below the earth. And we are all actually below the earth. So that is what they're trying to tell us. So that, that is why, you know, a lot of things don't make sense. Uh, NASA seems to lie. They are, you know, telling something, but those things don't match up with the data. All kinds of things. So we cannot completely blame NASA is simply because they are hiding the real truth. Is that right. like we, we are like, you know, 
somewhere uh, in the in the below earth so there is a movie uh, mad demons movie which came you know uh, movies in which uh, miniature so i just remember that part so mad demon act yes downsizing so there is a movie called downsizing this again a very very similar concept to our uh, west world so what happens is they are uh, mad demon is slightly unhappy so he wants to go he wants to have another life so he is somehow downsized he becomes very small like 6 inches or something okay and then he and his wife and other people they all are in another world which is like within the main world only but it is like a miniature world you can say it's a funny movie in a way but it's also a sad movie so this uh, concept of colony the concept of uh, you know this uh, robots and uh, non state actors and all are there in these movies so illuminati keeps messaging us through these movies that you know we are actually not on the earth we are you know very very small portion of the earth that is why lot of data doesn't make sense to us but right. as above so below so sir, like you know when we see comets or when we see certain things definitely we get the messaging so this is a very very important thing that we need to understand okay so yeah coming to the astrology part which i <laughs> which i was actually supposed to talk today so i will come from there Let's yeah start. yeah so i follow as i said i follow the geocentric model so in the geocentric model we have speeds like you know this is a very ancient diagram that is why it is not so clear it's a very ancient diagram so where earth is kept at the center and all so i will go to the indian uh, thing where it is slightly clear so in a day every hour is ruled by one particular planet so for example if you are born on a sunday okay and one hour uh, within the sunrise then sun is your planet this is called ora and hora is also the root word for horus and hour so the english word mm. earth comes from hora only so anybody who is born in uh, near to the sunrise they have lot of sun energy so that is the derivation similarly the second hora is venus the second hour third hour is mercury fourth hour is moon and these also relate to the mental and spiritual states and these also relate to the various planes of existence so for example the earth itself is the you know the bhuloka where people die it is the mortal world then you have the bhuva loka or the sun world where you can see the sun then you have venus which rules the constellation stars and swarga swarga means the heavens and also the beautiful damsels and all then mercury rules the you know the people who are like you know famous people or who have done good for the society and then you have moon and then you have saturn and jupiter so jupiter rules the satya loka so this is based on the hours your time and then similarly you have also something called as kala so which is the eight sun so i have to go to the powerpoint which i was showing you yesterday so let me open that give me a second <coughs> yes so i was showing you this hair harry and all that so basis basically you know uh, when you are born in the the first 3 hours of the day okay so you can okay. like this so first 3 hours of the day sorry you have to see the time this is the physical space this is the time so i'm sorry so uh, can you see sun here uh, charles yes so, yes so uh, you can simply see the time at which you are born and you can note down the pl main planet which rules your time so for example 6 to 9 it is sun 6 to yes. then 9 to 12 is mars then 12 to 3 is jupiter then 3 to 6 is mercury 6 to 9 is venus 9 to 12 is saturn 12 to 3 is moon and then 3 to 6 is rahu there is another calculation which says that you know you should start with jupiter and not the sun 
This is because Jupiter is actually, uh, you can say the highest state or the spiritual state. So if you take Jupiter as the base planet, then six to nine is Jupiter. Okay. Then <coughs> I, it, it is not in this diagram. I have to give a separate calculation. So I'll simply type it out. I think that will be better. So these are the various uh, states. So morning, six to nine, I mean sunrise to three hours. So that is called as Savitur. Sun or you can say Jupiter. Then nine to 12 is, is called as the architect. So this is the architect, architect or the worker. 12 to three is Indra Thor, or the king. Those people who are born between three to six is Bhaga or the lover or the relax, relaxation guy, basically. Then six to nine is Martanda or mortal. So I'll simply say mortal. Nine to 12 is uh, Aryaman or the contract man. So these people are into contracts or they, they love to have contracts. Then 12 to three uh, in the midnight is Varun. It's the ocean. It's the judgment. It's a deep sleep state. And then three to six is Mitra. Then this is a promise of dawn. This is also awakening before the chariot. So just before the chariots, this time, you know, so all the world leaders, for example, they, uh, you know, important leaders, like you can say like Modi or Trump or Imran Khan, they all have this energy, Mitra energy, a lot of Mitra energy. That is why they are in that particular place. And I am born between six to nine. So I am giving knowledge. So I'm not this lover, lover boy, three to six. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the lover boy. I'm the more like, you know, the Jupiter, the priest, uh, the teacher, that kind of. Thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Clearly. So these are the archetypes. So depending upon, so this is called as the sun angle or the eight suns. So this is called the eight suns concept. First sun, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. So these are the eight suns. So depending upon which time you are born, the angle of sun, uh, it gives a particular energy. So for example, those people who are born after sunset. So all these people, all these people who are born after sunset, they have more moon energy, you can say. And also they are into, you know, uh, underworld, undertaker, you know, that kind of energy they have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those who are born in the day, they have more like, you know, they... I'm not saying, see, I'm not judging. I'm not saying they are, uh, they, these people are better. Oh, Partha, don't do that. Just explain. Don't, 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 don't get all politically correct. Yes. You're just giving data. Don't, okay. don't, so, don't, don't, try to, <laughs> don't, don't try to spare somebody's feelings. Okay. So to, uh, I can say that, you know, uh, the people who are born after sunset, uh, maybe they want to first enjoy first and then get into the enlightenment uh, bullshit. To put mm -hmm. okay. Those people, that would be me. those people who are born in the day, they are from childhood. They want to, they are very inquisitive. They want to know things because they are born in the day. So this is very, you know, a uh, crude way of uh, putting things. No, it's great. It's absolutely, it's, it, it, it's clear, you know, because a lot of this stuff is really confusing. So, uh, you just cleared up that, the, cause that, that, that chart that you had makes sense to you. It doesn't make sense to us. This makes sense to me. Yes. So what is happening right now, even in terms of the universal consciousness is, is that this is happening. And I was showing the other day, I was showing you that the Northeast direction. So where is that diagram? So, yeah. So the Northeast direction is what is happening right now in the universal consciousness. So what is happening? It is the new moon. It is Gemini twin gate. It is the hair or Harry or Hari. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. So yesterday I was saying Harry is more like, you know, the hair and Meghan is more like this. I have derived also. In fact, I did the calculation also yesterday. 
Ah. I did that calculation. How Megha or Meghan is actually cloud. Megha means actually cloud in Sanskrit. So that's why I go by sounds. I don't go by, oh, it's an English name. I don't have such uh, any such biases. I know Megha means cloud. I know Megha means this direction, this uh, southwest direction. Whereas uh, Harry is the northeast direction. And northeast direction, we have Rahu. And southwest, we have Ketu as well as Mercury. So it is basically when they came out of the palace, basically it is like, you know, it's a new thing coming for the universal consciousness. Because they are in positions of power, more people tend to pay attention to them. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, what happens is the, the deep sleep masses, even after seeing all these things, they think that, you know, okay, Prince Harry, okay, he left the palace, so big deal. But a person like me doesn't see like that. My glasses are different. My glasses say right. is Rahu. Because here is Rahu. See, this is Rahu symbol. Here is Harry, harassment. He was harassed and he came out of the palace. So that's really? is, you know, I, I see everything in terms of quotes. So I'm like that cipher in that Matrix movie. I see everything uh, and I, in quotes. And I missed something yesterday. Yes. Uh, uh, that um that harry is is illegitimate yeah see how how, uh, how does that relate yes see rahu ketu are uh, as you know uh, charles i was telling you in the first day itself rahu wanted to steal the nectar of immortality he was not the designated one or the chosen one he was one of the titans he wanted the nectar so what he did he disguised himself as one of the gods for the nectar and his head was cut off. So C-section, illegitimate birth, outcast, coming out of the wedlock, coming out of the society, Robin Hood, all this is Rahu. So Rahu basically rules all the outcast people or who are living in the woods. In fact, you use that word woods in uh, two days back in, with me. You said, right, like, you know, I, I had to go through this path and I learned these things. Then I went to the woods. Then you, then you gave a clarion call. Then I came. Isn't it? So that yes. thing. So woods is the woods or jungle. The philosophy of jungle. That is why you have jungle book. Why did the jungle book come again? Why did the Lion King movie come again? It is because we as souls, we have chosen this path of the jungle. We have come into the woods yes. and we are lost ourselves. And now we are learning, relearning everything and we are going back to the city or the highway. I, I will allow you to digest that. Say it one more time. So as souls, we have left north. We have left the paradise. We have left the Eden. And we have come down to the southwest. We have come to the world of Ketu. And Rahu, Ketu are one and the same thing because Rahu is the head, Ketu is the body. So when we came into this axis, you know, this is into, mm -hmm. this is plus. Where did we come? We came into the into or the cross. I mean, this cross, anti clockwise. We did not come, we came from the plus and we came into this axis. So what did we do as a group of souls? We left the Garden of Eden. We left the paradise. We left the real earth. Clearly. We are the Alice's who went down the rabbit hole of Saturn. Because if you see, even in Interstellar movie, uh, that guy, what's his name? Cooper. He, uh, he actually takes that craft and then he goes to the Saturn. From the Saturn, he takes a wormhole. From the wormhole, he goes into the another world. And there, there is a Garangashua kind of a black hole. So he goes there, then he goes inside the Tesseract, he communicates with his daughter, he gives her the quantum equations, then they understand the Earth is going to be destroyed, and then they leave the Earth and they go to the Saturn. So why Saturn? Why is Saturn? Saturn is the rabbit hole, Charles. Because Saturn is the black cube. Saturn is the last planet, technically. I mean, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto are, are there, but for us, souls saturn is the limit so the infinity symbol the number eight saturn everything is one and the same saturn means the limit the edge that is why most of the illuminati and elite they worship saturn 
they don't worship sun of course there are many like you know mercedes benz those kind of people they worship sun but then there are elites and all they worship saturn the cube the black cube yep i will show you and of course i am sure you know but for uh, uh, for our people i will just show it once i am sure our uh, viewers are very intelligent they have heard of these things but still i wanted to show see it's right there i mean if you are in this matrix and you are not aware of these things then please get to speed please get to speed saturn see see everywhere it is there everywhere it is the dominant force of this world in every company near big big companies they worship this black cube outside of the big companies see in australia everywhere this black cubes are placed outside of the major buildings because we are in the black cube and that is why nasa nasa's data doesn't make sense so this uh, charles i have been aware 3 years ago itself but if our uh, you know due to deep sleep or something some of the viewers were not aware of these things please research mm -mm. on the black cube of saturn no i mean this this is totally new information for me and I, and i'm pretty sure most of the viewers here as well and the people who are going to be watching the recordings yes now yeah uh I, the, the the black cube is in mecca as well yes it is in mecca so that is why we have two towers or two consciousness uh, charles one is the black cube of saturn and then there is the north pole so the chosen ones will go through the north pole portal whenever the time is there whenever the ezekiel's uh, chariots come or whenever the thing happens we will have to pass through a portal or a wormhole so that is shown in interstellar interstellar see i am using all western symbols i am not showing you any indian see interstellar no nope. pattern see where did the cooper go where did cooper go he went to saturn and then after saturn what did he do wormhole what is this wormhole that is a portal so as souls we have to go through the portal so it was shown in that movie so those who have not seen i hope they will see with my eyes now hopefully or one eye sorry i have only one eye <laughs> well i mean you have sight in the other eye that people can't see so and there is a movie called tomorrowland it's a disney movie this is one movie then you have a movie called four realms what is that disney movie four realms i'll just show you four realms not correct i think this i showed in one of our earlier episodes charles see even this movie it talks about the four realms in so that is also again sad it does in time limit so all these movies are all having that inner messaging to awaken the souls that where they are they are in the world of time their world in, they are in the world of saturn they are in the world of mortals and then the real earth is the garden of eden which is which you have to it is either in the north pole or it is through a portal from the north pole so that is a call from that is why you have the king of the north in celtics you say that you know things are coming from the north the ezekiel chariots it is mentioned that the cloud came from the north and even in the wow. uh, in this uh, you know game of thrones i i hope people who are game of thrones addicts they have seen these maps hmm. westeros whatever so whatever maps are there right interactive game of thrones so in that there is uh, the in the in the series game of thrones series you have this north wind people who live beyond the mountains and they have magical abilities they have lot of super powers and dragons also live there something like that isn't it as a right. planet yeah. 
Westeros, all this. What is this? What are they trying to tell you? It is not England or Britain. It is the land beyond, which is which you have to go through North Pole only. So they have been telling us. It's just that you know some of us could catch it, and we I made videos also in some of these concepts. But now uh, good that you know a lot more people are watching this so that you know they get the information. That please don't take these series like Game of Thrones and all as a cartoon thing or like a just like a movie. Understand that uh, Masons and uh, Illuminati they are all behind the scripts, so they are revealing secrets. They are telling you the real map of the world, how the map actual look looks like. Like for example, North America, South America are not that big as they are shown in the maps. Some some of the countries are much bigger. They they are shown on the maps. So which of course we never know because we are always see when we go up uh, in the air in the flight, how will you know the map? Who is telling you which is the map? Isn't it? It is the politician. True. It is the it is the people in power who are telling you, okay, this is the map. But for all you know, this could be the actual map. I'm just giving you a possibility. I'm not saying that everything is a lie. But what I'm saying is the actual shape of the islands and the countries is much different than it is shown in the world map. So don't go by the world map. For all, for all you know, like for example, I have observed that when he trained in Australia, he trained here also, in my place. So I was wondering, like, is Australia really that far as it is shown? What about time zones? How do they adjust time zones? So all these kind of questions. But anyway, that is a pure conspiracy realm. I'm just giving you ideas. But some of these concepts sure. are fact, fact this, information. Are, so I'm we, giving like we are a place of ideas. Uh, um. Partha, that you know, and uh, and and don't limit yourself in in your ideas. If it sounds uh, farcical or fantastical, you have to think it. You know, you have to think it, and uh, and dispose of what you can't uh, believe, and embrace what you understand. It is it is it is a it's certainly a process for me and how I've I've lived my life. Yes. So that what they call in Game of Thrones is map north of the wall. That is the term they use, and it's a magical land. Uh, now, Partha, what, how, what do you see unfolding over the next, say, three to four months? See, what I see, uh, Charles, is that, you know, a lot of new revelations will come definitely. So we have seen the comments and then we have seen one EMP and, uh, you know, few more CMEs and all. So more and more hectic activity in the skies and more and more, you know, the savior programs coming. Like, you know, trying to save and trying to show the things. Like, for example, I have been observing clouds in the form of dragons, in the form of uh, fishes and all. So I think I- Oh yeah, the, cl the clouds have been strange for the last month. The clouds have been so strange. So uh, as per one of my, uh, you know, one of your subscriber who is now become my friend also. So he has shared a lot of images. He has edited those images. He has shown me that they are made by alien tech. So I'm just, uh, so I will show one of the video where I have captured the see. I'll just mute this video. So this is okay. I mean, you you can still have orange skies and blue skies and all that. So that is not the issue. The issue is when you start seeing crocodiles, you start seeing dragons, you start seeing you know all kinds of things in the sky. So this is one video which I have done with uh, my good friend Neo uh, many months ago. So you can see the sky, right? I will just make it bigger. I'll increase the resolution also. Can you see the shape of this? Yes. So this looks like mouth of a crocodile, actually. So very long clouds, a lot of, you know, you know, actually my camera is not good. 
but the day i saw this i mean i lost my mind seriously and see this is also this also looks like the jaw of a crocodile it does and in fact my office some people actually showed me some clouds which look like elephants and all so all so uh, the the possibilities are endless it could be alien tech or it could be creator trying to manipulate the clouds so if you believe in alien tech then elohim are doing it elohim are 33 so yesterday there was a news i think it was there in one of your subscribers uh, facebook feed 33 creatures so uh, so when i was yesterday i was chatting with uh, uh, chatting with andrew i actually then i went to one of the feed see scientists find 33 creatures living in a cave that was seen hmm. yes so this was yesterday and i can you open that yes i told you in fact you remember in couple of days back i was talking about 33 vertebrae 33 degrees of masonry blah 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 i told you right so now they are saying scientists find 33 creatures living in a cave that was sealed off for 5 million years and this is there in q map what was there in the q map that uh, you know the earth and the solar system was sealed off for 5 million years it's kind of a quarantined no no ufos can come inside no ufos can go outside so they are they are feeding your mind they are telling you and what is 33 33 ah. pods ha 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 that is just amazing so this also thanks to one of your subscribers she i think i don't remember her name uh, in her feed i saw this actually i saw this but uh, the, she, funny is yeah. pointing to something else while i noticed 33 creatures she was actually looking at the tweet she was highlighting the tweet which i found slightly funny she should have actually noticed this apology to her but i'm i'm just telling she should have immediately her at yes. have gone to this number sure so that is what i mean by say, saying you know see with my eyes is this see the real thing i mean there will be a lot of news lot 33 of creatures living in a cave that was sealed off for 5 million years i mean that is just stunning in romania so yeah so i was talking about planets and i went somewhere else but it's okay as long as you know we are covering ground no well, no this is great golly 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 yeah and this this doesn't hit the the, the regular news that's what so these these are codes uh, charles certainly because even in 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 the movie matrix we have room number 303 so those people who are matrix junkies they can just go to this room number 303 what is 3 3 is trinity where did comet atlas and swan where did they go they go went to the triangulum constellation right that we know that's right triangulum that is absolutely right i am not making up anything no you're not no i remember that. i i i i watched it myself when i was following the comets i saw that they were both in triangle and i was like I've never heard of the triangle constellation and it's so perfect. So this I think was Atlas if I'm not wrong one week back. Yeah, it was Swan, sorry. So Swan went to So it doesn't matter. I mean Swan or Atlas for me both are lovers. That's okay. So we have in fact gone past Swan and Atlas so much, right? We have gone into rabbit holes. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, we have. So that is room G three. But the rabbit, these right. The only reason you get in a rabbit hole is because the next step makes sense. The next step makes sense. The next step makes sense. So that is why there is a lot. Part I can. There are a lot of people who say. All right, go ahead. We are living in a computer simulation, which I don't agree. i feel yes we are in a realm but it is not the earth but yes it is it is kind of a simulation 
it's not a computer simulation. Sure. Matrix begins with Trinity within the room. No, it's biological. Ends with one exiting the room and resurrecting from the dead. So uh, a big EMP, flash flood, or any other things may happen, but still we will be resurrected because we are aware. That is my point. So the point is whenever this yeah. piece or solar flashes happen, what is your state of consciousness? Can you hold that energy? Can you hold that light? If you can hold that light, it means that you are aware. If you are aware, you will be resurrected or you will be looped back into the matrix or the best world. Fantastic. Well done, Partha. Well done. Uh, HTTP, code, HTTP code 303. I love that. HTTP code 303. Very interesting. And it's not uniform resource identifier, it's uniform resource locator URL. All right, yes. very cool. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Well, Partha, again, you have filled our heads. We have work to do. And yeah, a lot of uh, our viewers um, are suffering. Uh, they are feeling uh, the energies. And, um, and, 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 and suffering is, yeah, no, no, no it impacts them. And, and they've been feeling it since these uh, EMPs have been coming. Um, so amazing. All right, Partha, I know we have work to do. Um, so I appreciate you uh, doing this. I know you'll be in and out of the chat room throughout the day, but you are certainly waking up a lot of people. And hopefully as more and more members of the queue come, they can catch these videos, yeah, which I'm working on by the way, everybody. Yes, John, so I'm acting like that uh, 303 code. You are absolutely you are. All right, Partha, uh, hand me over to the control and yes. um, I'll stop my recording here so we don't have.